All of us. So we dive into this, let's not waste any time, as we do have Gambit starting things out on the attacking side, and actually it's Nats to draw first blood as well. Spike down, B. A bit of a push through, actually, yeah, Patty and Cruz trying to double down on this aggression, Defo. Let's hold him back, Nats actually wants to pick it up, and Chronicle with a pinch from the other side here, Sushi Boys. Try and find something on the back side, but Recalling him and Scary left to try and recover this pistol round. Oh, and a clean start is perfect, that's what the Doctor ordered. A little line up here, could be nice. Let's have a look to see if that does find where they need. All time, maybe wait for that smoke to fade, and here's that pixel shown. Lovely shot from Defo. It looks like the follow-up probably going to work out quite well. The crossfires have not been dismantled, have not been dismembered, and it will be scary to have to face the music. Yeah, there was even getting it done. Nope, Shadoff's going to deal with. Damn good looking for skins as well. All rifled up, all ready to go. Look at the damage coming back on through, though. They need to keep this clean. If you're an X10 fan, you're looking for that to be the case, and. So far, comfy. I like the aggression. Now, the reply back will probably facilitate at least at bare minimum a plant, I feel here. Actually, no, the spike's going to struggle to cross. And it's going to be denied. Chronicle still standing. Ooh. What is that? Chronicle. Easy now. Oh, he's read Fox it well. Is he's read it so well. Chronicle was already looking towards tower. <laughs> and Foxy has no idea. Oh, Chronicle might just do the unthinkable. And has. This is the thing now. Canteen and Generator pretty much. Sushi Boy's got good timing on this, though. Rifle out, rifle out! There it is! Sushi Boy! Right, there's already three on the lean, and Patty just gives him the drive-by! Great work from him for the good start, and the trade-up is brilliant. I thought Defo was going to have that. I thought that was on the plate, but no. So already a five-play up against three. I've got to be careful here again. No teammates towards Dish or... It's close proximity at least. Nah, still trying to find something towards Tower. He might actually get decent timing, but Cruz. Let's see, we'll find that one. Chronicle now. Could potentially pinch Last through here. Uh, Sushi Boys finds it and a fantastic round by X10 with the investment here. Patty can oh, try and the find roar. it. And again, this is the problem here. Ooh, hold that thought again. We're getting the question else I'll be making it. Start on straight Patty. away. The backhand is swift. And Defo is going to be reeling from that. Redguard took a little bit of flak damage too. The rest comes out, but Cruz is right there. Shados is the one that tilted it back at least. Oh, I thought that was on the oh, money. Defo's lucky. Very lucky boy. And Nats, does he have any of that luck up his sleeve? Because he's about to have a lot of players coming his way. He only gets a one for one, so let's look at what we have here. It's still going on. What a bloody battle between these two. It's unrelenting aggression. Scary needs to be on point though. Keep his composure as best he can. His Chronicle now is going to try and join Defo. 29 HP and a dream for Scary. Alts across the board. This is a really dirty angle to hold it's as well. It's filthy. It's absolutely filthy and I love what he's up to. The wall goes down and now the 1v2. He's going to try no and find one. He gets it, but oh. the second evades and Chronicle. Oh, Brimmy boy. But a lot of utility invested into this now. They have to make the most of this one. You can already see that X10 are on the back foot slightly. But the hits still not come through. We're down to 14 seconds. They need to make this land. 10 seconds now. Redgar on the drive-by does well. But Scary lives up to that name, causing problems. Six seconds now. It's only Paddy alive. And I don't think he can really deny this. The spike goes down with one second to spare. And Gambit... Gunfights, but... He actually gets away unscathed. And the lean's coming in, and that's that flank. Just going to send one down. <laughs> it does find Scary. Trying to hide inside the smoke here. Lockdown invested as well. It will be dealt with straight away, so no threat to Gambit here. They're able to set up on site. Then actually a nice swing out from Sushi Boys there, but Defo, good find too. Yeah, Fox has got to be careful. He was a little unaware. All that utility and no intention behind it at the end. That tower swing was great from Nats. And once again, Paddy's put in this position. He was a little exactly not hesitant to hit these rotations, are. but now they want to get that operator away. Good luck. Patty wants this. This is baby. He's not going to give it up. But already you're seeing Gambit now starting to exude a little bit of that dominance, <laughs> but he's still putting on a show. And the time. I mean, he switched up to the rifle. He's going for this one. And have a look where Nats is. Oh my. Hi, Pog. Are you, are, are you kidding me right now, Patty? You could do this already. The flash, he doesn't actually eat it that much. Oh my god, Patty can sit this. He can absolutely sit this. Oh, There's no time left. It. And I don't blame him because Nats, if anything, was the one who wasn't there in time. 
But Patty could have done some more. The other side of the map, both extremities, at least on the top side of the map, have now been pushed out on. You've got to be able to try and extrapolate the information from that because Gambit now, I think, have kind of put it together themselves what as they've this? sliced through the. M what is this round going on? Defo going to lead the charge. Cruz actually could catch across. No way. Defo so sharp on it. And he still does well. Foxy trying to do some damage, but it's all effective standing. trades for Gambit, leaving Sushi Boys the last one alive. And a one v three. Spike going to go down, and he ain't that close. Spike by. planted. We don't can find any damage here, but at this point with the round deficit doesn't make an awful lot of difference because it will be saving and Gambit should be yeah, sitting pretty comfortable. Conical will find it. The enemy not a place to be. The footsteps are surely going to be heard. Patty might be able to get there in time. He is going to at least get one, but a quick trade out as Cruz does get to keep his life trying to sail on forward. But Nats is so happy That's to there. greet it with the adjustment on the third. Finding so much work for himself. Oh, the timing is nasty. One HP. You're lucky to be alive. Comes down to a 2v2, though. Sushi boys will fall. And just one HP in the dream for Foxy. An awful left. Yeah, okay. Well, he needed to find that one. He didn't. It's 8 3. Four spot and they're just pressing on it time and time again. Defo up to a quick beginning. Oh, oh, oh. it's brutality no from Defo. Straight away in there, just rips the head off of Sushi Boys. Fox with a great flash. Oh my, Spike Defo still takes him down. Feels like Gambit can't put a foot wrong. There's Patty, Cruz, and Scary. Still eye. trying to find any success for themselves with Nats. Waiting, poised. Calm, collected and unnoted. He knows what he's doing. He still gets one and step by step they just get worked away. I feel there's so much. In. There's a huge gap to close. There really is, and it's it's gonna be quite fast. Patty gonna at least step towards it. Shados is there, Defo is there. Gambit looking to maybe the iron giants of Gambit might have just awoken, but a good start for Sushi Boys could get them right back on track. Shados just stop any further pushes. Spike planted. So you hear Defo. Does he get hard cleared here? I think the answer is quite resounding. It's a no. Defo gets away with it. Catches Cruz and now going to work them down to three. Trying to keep their backs to wall themselves safe. Oh, Defo, I thought he had another. This man has been just a safe pair of hands and he's been succeeding in a lot of the fights. The wall going to try and facilitate the cross. That was a little dicey, but it's fine. As Gambit are looking in fine form and a little too <laughs> thick to quit. Foxy is in trouble. Try and find this here. Nope. Sadoff's going to collect Bulldog in the hands of Red Guard, but... A little armor difference. Oh, Defo okay. just fed himself to the wolves. Flies on in a quick meal. Red Guard, though, going to have to try and back away. He's still in no man's land, and yeah, this buyer's actually called them off. A fair amount caught in unpredictable positions and spots they didn't want at the pace. They have to keep this up. You're right. The flank will come into effect eventually, but let's see if they get that spike down uncontested. For now, it does seem as though that's going to be the case, and Foxy's on the case. Shados, Chronicle, Nat, all going to start cresting that corner. Outdone by one, and now the 3v3. Crew's going to have an opportunity to play inside the smoke and have a really good engagement here if anybody does take the rope. But it looks like I'm going to force their way through on ground level. The wall, that's the investor, it's going to cut off generator here. Batty has to oh, deal with that quickly, this flank. If he can get the timing right, if Sushi Boys can keep the attention. Oh, he just slipped through, Shados. Still alive, but only for so long. The force fight desperately trying to work out for him every single time. Actually, Patty straight away, look at that. Defo, Ruthless. Just, just being the backbone right now of Gambit, catching a couple of these moments and really quelling that early aggression. And oh, Foxy, what? what? How are you so good at adjusting to that? He was in the middle of nowhere, he had no right, and neither does Shados. The flash couldn't have been better. The follow-up does not happen, though. And another bloody battle between these two as Redgar is chomping at the bit just around that corner. You know they know he's there, though. They're clearing this and they're thinking, well, it feels like there's someone on the case. There's that door open. Redgar says hello, and Nats finds Sushi Boys. It's going to be on Scary now, and he's got so much to get through. They're jumping the corners. He knows he's pinned in. And Gap. Like a pair, he always wanted that. Main speed. Oh, Defo's right back to business. What? <laughs> he got the dink. He thought he'd done it. Cruises on 7 HP. Well, I guess they get to another bite run. of the cherry and Gambit. What is going on in this round? What is, what is happening right now? Now, Foxy. <laughs> He's got to hold on to underpass here. Redgar will be able to escape, but the res comes through. Nullifying that kill that Extend did it. find. 
Cosmic Divide going oh, like wow. right. He decides not to do it. He's seen everything. We've seen this before. Glimpses of the past. Remember the Fnatic game. Can he do what he needs to? That's one down. He can clear. He can confirm. He knows where these players are. Brilliant information now relayed. The gap going to close in and time being bought here. They, they, they have nothing in this one. Scary is there. Shados. Wait, what is going on? He needs to get the Diffuser down as he does. An X10 give themselves another round. That and roundabouts between these two. He wants to post this and it might oh, be the right it. destination. Right to the pocket of Scary, and that's now, I think, a rifle down if it can be recovered. Sushi Boys is just praying for timing, praying for it to be right. He only gets one quick trade for Nats, though. And now the advantage in numbers at least sits with Gambit. Two rifles now on the deck as well. Foxy, oh no way! He couldn't even turn around in time. Redgar gets the freest kill of his life. And now Patty and Cruz put in a bad spot here. Can they make anything out of this one? Actually, three rifles in the hands of Gambit here, so... Player standing. Oh, Shados, man, deletes Patty. Wow. That's just Cruz left. And I don't think he's loving this one. Absolutely not. All that utility being poured in. So many obstacles in the way. Do what you can. Can he deny it, at least for Did now? Get off? This is good for Cruz. He's giving himself some time. The flag! Oh my word, Cruz! It's game back on! Maybe, just maybe, there's still some life in it. The time is there! And by the absolute <laughs> tight... If anything gets detected there, but Patty straight onto site here. Zados will finally open it, though. Trade it out. Chronicle finds two. Down, B. One yeah, this is remaining. looking like 12 is now beckoning. Scary in a 1v4. Gonna get one. Are you gonna prove me wrong again? Surely not. He explores. But he has plenty of time to try and do something, but they're staying as a pack. All three players together. Scary on the other side of this corner. Here's one. Takes one and tries to back away. That's they're going to try and close the gap, though. They want to get as close as they can to the Scary on the swing. Oh, oh. He gave it everything he had. Three kills, but Redgar prevails. And it'll be 12 on the board for Gambit. You can't say the X10 map point in the pocket. Now they just need to get across the line. Defo, can he keep that composure that has resonated so well with him? Look at everything being poured at this man, and he still stands. Away, oh, Defoe. he refuses to relent. Defo standing up to the test this time. Finding that balance. He's been over aggressive, and this time it's looked just right. But these boys have clutched out so many times before, so I feel like I can't say it yet until the final man falls. It's down to Scary again. A 1v4 presented, and only a Spectre by the side. And sadly, it looks like it's done for. He gets put to... Quickly up towards the middle here, and actually potential for Scary to fall. Cruz will at the same time, Look so... Look at his crunch. Damn bit. Not messing around. Oh! Oh, Sushi Boys finds two. Oh, if only he got that third, that could have been really quite Five something. Down, but it is down to the 2v2. Patty up against Foxy, and... Well, make it just Foxy. Timing's not terrible on this. He's a little ahead of maybe expected time. He might even find this kill. He does actually, okay. Remaining. Gateway open. Can he find Defo though? Defo has been filthy in map one and he's looking to get a little dirty here. I don't think Foxy saw the no. tip of that pistol then. Oh, oh really this timing is just Bandon. unbearable Shotgun. to work around. Foxy just trying to work it. Oh no! Foxy, what? Okay, I guess that's what <laughs> Going fast straight up the guts. They're not backing away. They're not playing their passive approach they normally have. They are absolutely trying to just tear into this. Now, keep in mind, this is Frenzies and Classics and maybe a Ghost or two for good measure. So it remaining. shouldn't account to too much. Spike down, B. As Foxy should be able to clean up last as he does too. Hey. Remaining to similar side, sprays him wildly, but look who's going to try and chase this down. It's Patty with a belter! Catches Chronicle on the top side of mid. And now there's four alive. And look at this play coming out from him. He's still going to just keep going. That's going to be, I think, a rifle picked up as well. That's not bad at all. Good little upgrade for him. Foxy with the right timing, predicting it well, sprays in again, hoping for something to happen, and it just doesn't. Defo, quite... Had a good understanding of. Spike planted. Still a Foxy last to hold down again with this perk to play inside of because of the spike plant and the position. That's <laughs> actually Patty that falls, <laughs> chomping at the bit to try and get in there and find an exit. Take flight. This is Here's interesting. Again, is. now we <laughs> see them swing back over after this initial... Formation 2 even goes for a second. That's pretty bold. He does have support there, and wait, he takes the fight too. Man is feeling a little frisky today. And the 4v3 favorable towards X10 Cruz again. These these boys are brave to be peeking out like this. He's on an island, and now let's see if Nats can catch that flank. Going to try and dice up middle. 
get around the back of them as the site is now under control. Nats can call this out. He knows two players are going to be going down this way. Surely he saw them, but Sushi Boys just puts himself on the line. There's Nats making his appearance. He knows there's one more. He's 100% assured. He's, uh, he's just going to sit this down. He finally gets off it. Nats drawn in. Has to now pay attention. Gets one turn. Where is Patty? Trying to bring that ult in. Patty just swings it Beautiful. out. And Nats will greet it with a smile. Can't slow him down. The amount of faith he has himself. Oh, you can see as to why. Patty with perfect connection. Sushi Boy's on the other side. Got scary by his side as well. They know the mid control. He tries to turn and just chase down the gen. He's done it. Sushi Boy's great work there. Now the ult's going to be an issue. He can't get away from it. Chronicle going to do well in this regard. But it's into a 3v2, but the purchase, Sending look what ahead. remains. Yes, Patty got the upgrade, but the others do are a little less than ideal. A sheriff and a marshal. This ain't the old west. Chronicle gonna catch the cross. He's gonna be fine now. Door gets shut, and in the post part we go. Seekers, I think, just got invested. They did, and it does give away where Patty is. Shados deals with it well, Beautiful. and we're down to one. This is the gambit that is hard to break through, but Foxy, he finds a step. Wait. No way. He, Foxy? Fo they're just doing the dance on the site. This is madness. Foxy needs to keep composed here. Chronicle's just trying to play you the time. Play and roll no the way, dice! Foxy. And Foxy's outdone him! Confirm things here. Cosmic Divide will go up. Shados will open things up here on the site. That's yeah, scary. Caught in the side of the head. Nats is going to fall to it, but it's Patty ma just making a show out of this one. Again! Against the odds. I don't know how they do this time and time again. And Shados put to work. As Defo waits to see if anyone dares come out, but it's all about the timing and it takes on over. As Patty now going to be the one to be the center of attention towards short. Oh, and the timing could not have been better. Catches Nats predisposed. The Rotation coming through. Defo gets right onto site immediately, though. Sushi Boy will win out, though. Yeah, this is insane work coming out from X10. Yes, Chronicle's still alive, but only for so long. Sushi Boys is still doing oh damage. <laughs> this is incredible from X10. Wait out. The initial utility respond with an owl drone. Shade off actually finds an open on to cruise, but Patty. Quick trade, garnered. Can they find a way to dispose of that? Patty is closing the gap and he's actually just I fed Nats completely on that. Oh, no. oh, this is all falling to pieces. Ten seconds now. What has just happened? Ten seconds. Left. Gambit just pressing down hard enough and getting the response they want. Well, two different layers <laughs> yeah. to this. As soon as the corner gets swung, he gets one, and there's Nats on the follow up. It's a. For utility. God, Defo! That dream up now. Can anything deny this for now? Not real. That's not confirmed, so but again, no real precision to that information. Red got. Gonna play that so, so well. And it's all looking great for Gambit here. Just keeping that back line, sitting super deep, not allowing any quick picks, any easy frags. Yeah, Scary finds one, but it's all. Take it right now. Paddy Pan waiting on the other side. He's gonna put himself in a. Pretty brave angle. Gets himself out of danger, but it's Foxy to open up the account towards Chronicle. That's it. Really early rotation comes out. Oh, that the flash! Bodies are here from X10. What a flash through the smoke. The little underhand gives them at least a fair fight, and the timing worked you out, but it's a 3v2. It. Divide goes up, and Scary going to put himself on the line here. Body on the line, and he wins it. Looking for the follow-up. Gets it. That's X10 right back in this. I'm through, but you can see the setup here. They're trying to get ready for this one, and Hunter's Fury actually could be pretty big here. Paddy going to get a quick towards Shados, but it's traded out by Nats. Now the site isn't quite under control. Yes, Defo's there, but it's tentative. It's a little cautious. Nats turns the flash, goes back in for the spray. He doesn't get it, but Defo, Defo does. That's two, and Gambit now have some control on the site. That's the Chronicle. We'll find another. It's just Foxy left, who was desperately trying to do some damage with the Hunter's Fury. The sacrifice being they lost sight for it. Chronicle will find these here, but... Again, Sushi Boy has oh, potential to get pinched here. Yeah. He's isolated. But he's going to have seen three players. So, again, a weird bit of information, but information nonetheless. Foxy going to maybe try and re-explore a little bit, get a deeper post plant. And Shados, I think, is going to check on this. Yeah, there we go. He's seen a little bit of this. And look at the patience. Yeah. Is his virtue. And he works out so well towards this one. Information, I think, pretty decent there, actually, for Cruz. So I wonder how much he's actually worked out from this. But it is all five on the playback in. The Flash going to start things off. As time going to try and be bought, there's the flash again. Paddy's going to eat a fair amount of it. Comes out of it well enough for the fight, but it's Defo from above. Cruz with one, Shados with a trade. It's all looking golden until the end. Nats is just 
fine. Diffuse comes through and gap. Rest off that as well. Yeah, it actually did get red card. Left. You're right, and now here comes the hit. Patty gonna try and close the gap, and Chronicles on the swing. He's been dealt with by Cruz in the quick follow up. That is, the timing was absolute perfection. And that adjustment wasn't far from it either. We're down to just Nats here, and he's a mile away. The ball on the back of this purchase, Nats, Cruz. One away from his ultimate, and again, that leans towards... Sorry. Off the back of having that KO in play. However, the first challenge will be Defo, and he's dealt with what? Sushi Boys just slices through Defo. No Death ball round I was talking about on the back of that ultimate, and see, actually, Nats was playing play all the way back in... Yeah, Nats, this is his. Let's just work around it. Again, it feels like he can't get away from this, as he gets to keep what they have. That's one removed. There's only, oh, that's, I think they walked away with, was it one right from there or two? From Gambit, look at this play up, two up short, two pushing through on A, Shados, oh no, he, he's absolutely eating it from Scary. Now, yes, the mid play comes in, but it's going to be noted, the spike's been dropped and Depo ain't stopping. He's going to try and push further forward, he takes the fight, he loses it. Foxy is there and now Nat. Oh, and it's the player you didn't want on the other side. He's giving you that KO. He's got your number. They've made at least a little bit of progress towards the site. Nat's going to do what Nat's does best, though. Let's see if he is in his element at the moment. We see the Seekers come down as well, but it's still Cruz to find Shados. Nat's is still standing and still alive, and this is why you do not go near Nat's on this map. You avoid him at all costs. You do not take that fight. He's still, still doing shot. damage, but it is a 3v2. Can Foxy and Sushi Boys do something though to that try and bring this standing. back? Chronicle denies it, but where the hell has Sushi Boys just come from? Chronicle just thought about it, though that is gapable force. But the unstoppable object is on the way, and it's Patty over the top! What a beginning for him! Tailor made, we said it before, and Nats is gonna be feeling this pressure. And Gavin need to have his back, and they are being removed one by one. Spike goes down, the old gets popped, the tags come in. This is so easy for them. I mean, Shados, there's not a lot of what he can do in that scenario, right? He has all the vision yeah, on sight. Beautiful. It's to a third. This is a quarter you final if you're just tuning it. in. And already playing ahead of it. That's a good little trade out. Cruz will take that every day of the week. There is still Nats and he's still here. Oh now he's been God. finding it a little tougher yeah, to find some tell. of that brilliance that he's known for because he has been shut down, pushed around and bullied. But he's back to the wall. Can he do anything? No. Sushi Boy's dicing him up. It's down to a 4v3. The divide's still in place and the spike going down. Uh, again, beautiful. They find the first Nats has so many things to deal with there that he's not able to find a clean engagement even on the back of his spike hammer, trap wire, Nowhere nothing. The Fury will come out here from Foxy time. as well, just a little ahead of the retake. But no tags found. Great God, taking the first few steps. The flash to the corner doesn't get much, so they know it's not going to be occupied. Definitely going to start building into this. The late lurk up middle from Scary. Going to be the nightmare. <laughs> Cruz on the back lines detects them both. He knows what's coming in. He's going to shut down Depo. Scary follows up into a red car. Oh my word! I like this take so far from X10. I want to see if they can. Uh, ooh, they're over pushing this. That's a little risky. Yeah, opens up chances for Gambit. Who will thrive in that? They'll take that with both hands. Now the spike is down, so it is a post plant. Cruz and Foxy though. This is sharp from Gambit. And you have now got Gambit looking a little mad, a little dangerous. Just wait, and Cruz, Cruz okay. it was a nice try. There was <laughs> maybe a window of timing for it to happen. But Again, if they can find a little success here on the force, that uh, actually goes forward. Cruz will deal with him. That will create an opening here. But Nats really doesn't get what he needs. And they haven't seen the full picture. They're going to go back. Here. But Defo, I don't think he knows if they've gone back or not here. They're looking for here. maybe either a double pump or a pinch down middle. But Defo going to try and re-explore this. Steps might have just been heard, though. And they're tucked in that corner just on the left here. They've got to check this diligently. Chronicle does. And it's scary, though, to find two in the end. Shot opportunity on both players here. That's the first bit of information that has been relayed. Now, Sushi Boy can get towards remaining. the site, but Nats was just hunting down his plants. Could be the bit that's going to be interesting. Does he feel like he's gotten away with as much from his E? This out. Redgar and Nats trying to clear this. Does he peek on the first? It is going to be held down. Oh, this is a really nice idea. What a good attempt. But Nat's just better right now. Man, they're laughing. And look at the pace on him. This could be another ball in middle. Cruz takes the head off of Shados. And now the battle begins. Defo with two. The adjustment sublime. And he still wants more. But this isn't being unanswered. It's still, it's still a 3v3. Nat's actually fell behind Defo there in double doors. This red oh. guard will also get picked up. Ninja happens. And yes, it is now two vandals being locked in for Gambit. I don't think you got anything for that then. I don't think you did, no. And the second. So very little actually revealed on this side, so they're going to have to find out with a gun at their side. Chronicle can only get one, and Scary is there. Great. 
So now they're going to pick up the pace, it looks like. Really hit this B-side, put Chronicle under all of this weight, all of this pressure. Paddy going to try and close down on him, but it's going to be Sushi Boys to find it. Shados makes it to the site in time, but Scary doesn't care. And now... Extent. Put their second on the board now. I really like this one. A little further ahead than maybe they expect, but the jump up, the timing could not have been worse for him. Caught by Redgar, but it's Sushi Boys to find one, so it's traded out and the spikes the reveal. Now can apply pressure from the back lines. There's a swing from the first defender, the first bodyguard on the gates. Redgar gets a trade out, Foxy peeks back in, and there is that real back line to this. The time buyer is scary! Brings the rifle in as well! Oh boy! Oh. The money. And I, can, I can hear it behind me, the call. Big call, quick calls being made. The push the hands of someone like Nats, right, who's lingering in this. They, well, need to be very, they, they seem really aware of this. He's going to try and find the timing. He has to what? make a desperation play. Still gets away with murder. Somehow still stands, and I don't know how, but he's doing what he can to buy time for his side. <laughs> Patty does not mind at all, though. Up and over he goes. Still danger as Redgar and Shados. What? That has to be the one to deal with I it. I like this progress being made on the other side, though, by Sushi Boys. Yeah, that just caught my eye, and I love it. They punish Nats on the rotation. It's a big audio cue. Patty's thinking about it for a second, oh. and Chronicle is quicker on the trigger. Gets Patty, and now by some time for these rotations. A player now slipped towards CT as Chronicle. Sushi Boys does find Redgar, though, on the flank, on the flank. Like a post-plant component here for Extend. Yeah, massively so. Even if they get a bit closer on this, he can still hold his nerve. Steady the breathing. As yes, the rest of his team are in trouble, but he knows he's the backbone to this. The back line, if called upon. Scary going to try and put himself there. Holds it well enough. Foxy by his side. And there it is. X10. Oh, it's going to be a quick hit. Yeah, pace. Big change on this one, and Defo and Chronicle are going to instantly turn the screws. Make it hurt this time. No reply, Chronicle. no entry. Chronicle, this is his. He will not relent on it. Shuts it down, sends him. Red guy all the way back in Nest there. Oh, Defo. Fake. This has got to be his. Yeah, that is teed up for him. Exactly what he wanted. So this mid-presence could now be denied. Defo is getting to absolutely run rings around X10. The cross was being held. It's all perfectly positioned from Gambit. They know exactly where they were coming from. Even look at Redgar. Expecting that next layer. These boys are running. Five members of Gambit to find. You know, whether or not he's given more than one 1v1. He's given the first, actually. Have I told you the story about Foxy's 1v5? I can't wait crazy. to hear it. Yeah, yeah, but this is when it started. He picked up... It was the other round. Trolling deep within halls. I think that's... Oh, about the Shados. But Shados again tries to find something he's punished. And, and Nats does something similar as well over towards Elbow, but it's all traded out efficiently and effectively towards X10. Now it comes down to Defo, who stands tall on the first challenge. Chronicle out, down and now down to two. Defo, it's on. Safe. Now they can fold in a little bit. Foxy can kind of play with the others. Now Redgar's going to at least find out where one is. Pops the cage up on the other side to give himself a little bit of safety, but you can see he's not all that safety, but there's layers. As you said, you don't get a fight on one, it's all of them. And now Defo, this is your time to shine, baby. That's going to be impossible to do. In a position where uh, he finds find the bonus, and he will find Shados immediately. Get away. He's actually yes, he got away, away CT. That's insane that he's been able to stay alive. Now you look across story. further afield. Foxy got Nats after the pickup towards Cruz came in. So it is a 4v3. The spike is still yet to go down, waiting for that to be planted, but they're actually trying to fold towards CT. Sushi Boys is not necessarily ready, but he still stands and gets one. They can. Shot in the oh, back, no. though. Spike goes Spike down. down and it's down to just Chronicle with three HP. What has just happened? Sushi Boys is there. Now, the buy is substantially better with Gambit, so keep that in your mind. The rifles are out, but Foxy finds the timing what? and fights three. What is going on between these two? Cruise. Cruise closing the gap. It's going to be Cruise on the flank, but he gets found by Chronicle. The Spike is yet to be recovered, though. That's a really late investment of the wall here, which is going to be huge. Uh, but Defo's Defo. going to find Sushi Boys. It comes to a 2v2. Yeah, and these two left. are uh, purely on spike duty right now. Foxy going to be looking in. Doesn't quite get as full information as he would want. There's always a threat and there's always a danger. And Foxy now needs to be on red alert. Gambit are working as a pack. Two of them now working standing. around. Chronicle beheads him. And Scary's going to be sweating. Ten seconds though. Scary peeks out no the unbelievable way, Gambit. Digs so deep for that. For X10. No trap wire. Do they have no idea? Uh, they have no oh, clue. Oh, this could be a desert. Wait, Sushi Boy just got Defo. There we go. That's the damage from the back lines we were expecting. And they're deep behind enemy territory. But the spike is a little isolated, so there's still danger. But Shados again, threading the needle. This man finally falls to Cruise. But Chronicle on the trade out, and mid is now up in the air.
spike planted. Very scary though. It's to be really difficult for X10 to figure this one out. Yeah, but that's so much information relayed now for Gambit. They know oh, there's nothing yeah. mere, there's probably nothing CT. All eyes draw towards this. Look out! And oh. the timing actually works out well. Red got called upon, but you've got Nat still in the back lines. Yeah. There he is. Comfy one. Nat's hyper aware of what? the timing is unbearable. That is so unlucky for Nat to turn around like that. Maybe hearing a step in middleweight. Patty's just found Red Gar and we're down to three. Ah, uh, Shade or Steppo and Chronicle. Chronicle is at least going to stop the rot for now. Devo tucked towards the back of the site. You can see those knives just grazing yeah. by. Just a shave at this point. Paddy still finds Shados. It's a 3v2. The trades were... Oh, they, there they are! And now the 1v1. Foxy up against Defo. Defo trying to slip around, find the timing, find the frag before the ping. Yes, and now he's tucked in the corner. He's got the rifle by his side. Tag comes in. Rifle oh. comes out! And the... Patty's here, so keep that in the forefront of your line. But actually, Foxy gets away with murder. Around the back there. Seekers didn't give away the full picture, but he knows he's getting closed in on. Chronicle getting a bit, a little bit of chip damage. There's two players on the other side of this. I don't know if he's aware of it now. Cruz here early enough to potentially find it, but Redgar actually gets a better. He finds a second as well. Foxy will fall. Life is a bit down on sight. From Gambit is starting to kick yeah. in in my mind. The full faith is showing with them as well. And there's the Hunter's Fury going to come out. Does it find anything? Going to force at least the dash away. Redgar not going to find what he needs here. Sushi Boys is just around the corner. He's going to get some steps. He's going to call it out and he tries to pounce. He thought it was done. He turned his eyes away for a second. But Cruz is at least there to get his back. And they don't know about Paddy. They have no idea. Oh, oh my no. God, Nats. What a heartbreaking miss for Paddy Pan. And also what a great shot from Nats. Foxy's not done yet. There's still something to be said about this. You can see already. Foxy might even find this. Oh, God, the timing. The timing is horrible. And Def, oh, what's going on in between these two? Devo's just going to get the, the hell out of there. Why would he want to stick around on that? Now he's got a better angle to play with. He can try and catch the timing just right. Scary's been pinched in CT, and there's the shutdown. The heat. It's not just map point, it's match point. And this is the quarterfinals between these two. Keeping an eye on it. Yeah, Redgar gets called in and gets the first here. <laughs> That's the first nail in the coffin for X10. Spike going to go down. But would they expect the second layer? Doesn't matter. Nats is posted on this one. He ain't going to be moving. Def on the other side, can't quite get away, but Shados has his back, and it looks like with all the hopes and dreams that were coming together, maybe the chances, it's just going to be down to two. Patty and Scary with it all on their shoulders. Chronicle tries to get one, he does get 